The Real Agriculture.com Canola School is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. Bruce, uh, canola growers this year are dealing with a, a lot of issues. Uh, one of the issues, though, is uh, guys concerned about how late can I apply my last application of, of Roundup. Uh, we've got multi-crop staging uh, all over the West, um, and we're dealing with a lot bigger volunteers, or I guess a lot bigger weeds, later in the crop season. What are some of the things that guys need to be thinking about? Well, a couple of things, Sean. Uh, first of all, you're starting to get the loads starting to open that are severely under stress so you look at these poor guys they're starting we're gonna see a lot of guys starting to bolt and they shouldn't be bolting at that stage that one over there is really a good example and he's got three four leaves he's maybe six inches high and he's under stress because he's not getting the roots all together therefore if we add an application of roundup on there we could on a stressed plant we could see some yellow and some yield uh, not necessarily yield loss but definitely So Bruce, what, what's the ideal uh, plant stage for that last application? The last application should be prior to bolting. So um, when you look at these guys, they're just, just about at the tail end of where you want to be at prior to bolting. Um, your first application, you want to hit it early. Like you say, in this case, we've got some fairly big weeds because we don't have the crop competition. Uh, crop competition is key once we get that ground cover. And this year, because of the weather that the crops have been under and the stress, we may not get that crop cover at all this year, and therefore we're going to have maybe multiple flushes if we continue to get the rain like we're getting this morning. So what if we were to spray on a, on a plant like, uh, like this one? Uh, it's just about to open up. What, what, could, what could happen uh, as what, far as what yield? What could happen on, maybe not necessarily on yield, but what could happen is we could see a temporary yellowing, almost like what's in the weed there, um, where we get a temporary yellowing on the growing point. It will hold the crop back until it's able to grow out of it, which could be a week to two weeks. Um, given the timeline we're in right now, where we're, you know, we're into July, two things. One, we could set that back so it's flowering in the heat of the summer, which could really rock our yield, knock it down significantly by blasting petals, and or maybe we just significantly delay it until it gets into that first of the frost before we're ready. So if most of your crop is that sort of is a is a, is past the ideal window, are you better off to leave it or just go through? Or? You really have to assess it based on the yield. If your if your yield's going to be affected by your weeds, and say maybe 10% is going to be raw by the weeds that are in there, then maybe you take a risk and you spray it. Otherwise, you really just leave it. And maybe you do a pre-harvest on it or a post-harvest to clean up those weeds after. It's a real, it, you, it, you gotta assess it field by field and really take a look at what your weed, your weed pressure is. So I've had lots of calls where guys are looking at that weed pressure going, well, I, if I don't do anything, I'm gonna lose yield because of the weed competition. So I'm gonna take that risk and spray it anyway, even up to flowering. And that's the risk that each producer is gonna have to take. Okay, thanks a lot, Bruce.